Thank you. The gentleman's time has expired. I now recognize the gentlelady from Florida, Ms. Demings, for five minutes. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. And let me just say, just for the record, uh, I'm a Democrat from Florida, and I've had um, co heard complaints about my emails going into spam as well. And I'm sure other Democratic members have had the same experiences, unfortunately. Um, Mr. Pakai, in 2007, Google purchased DoubleClick, the leading provider of certain advertising tools. Is that correct? Uh, that's correct, Congresswoman. When Congress, per when Google purchased or proposed the merger, alarm bells were raised about the access to data Google would have, specifically the ability to connect a user's personal identity with their browsing activity. Google, however, committed to Congress and to the antitrust enforcers that the deal would not reduce user privacy. Google chief legal advisor testified before the Senate Antitrust Subcommittee that Google wouldn't be able to merge this data even if it wanted to, given contractual restrictions. But in June of 2016, Google went ahead and merged this data anyway, effectively destroying anonymity on the internet. Mr. Pakai, you became CEO in, of Google in 2015, is that correct? Uh, that's right. Okay, and this change was made in 2016, is that correct? Uh, that's my understanding. Okay, thank you for that. Did you sign off on this decision to combine the sets of data with Google, that Google had told Congress would be uh, kept separate? Con Congresswoman, any any changes we made? Uh, Mr. We Mr. Made, Mr. You know, Pakai, with all due respect, uh, please, did you sign off on the decision or not? I, I review the, at a high level, all important decisions we make. We deeply care about privacy and security of our users. So you signed off on the decision. user consent for. Okay, okay, you signed off on the decision. Practically, this decision meant that your company would not combine all of, would, would now combine, for example, all of my data on Google, my search history, my location from Google Maps, information from my emails from Gmail, as well as my personal identity with the record of almost all of the websites I visited. That is absolutely staggering. According to an email from a DoubleClick executive, that was exactly the type of reduction in user privacy that Google's founders had previously worried would lead to a backlash. And I quote, they were unwavering on the policy due to philosophical reasons, which is Larry and Sergey's fundamentally not wanting users associated with a cross-site cookie. They were also worried about a privacy storm as well as damage to Google's brand. So in 2007, Google's founders feared making this change because they knew it would upset their users. But in 2016, Google didn't seem to care. Mr. Pakai, isn't it true that what changed between 2007 and 2016 is that Google gained enormous market power? So while Google had to care about user privacy in 2007, it no longer had to in 2016. Would you agree that what changed was Google gained enormous market power? Congresswoman, this is an important issue. If I could explain, well, you know, we today make it very easy for users to be in control of their data. We have simplified their settings. They can turn ads personalization on or off. We have combined most of activity settings into three groupings. Uh, we remind users to go to a privacy checkup. One billion users have okay, done Mr. so. Mr. Pakai, thank you so much for that. I am concerned that Google's bait and switch with DoubleClick is part of a broader pattern where Google buys up companies for the purposes of surveilling Americans. And because of Google Google's dominance, users have no choice but to surrender. In 2019, Google made over 80% of its total revenue through selling a Ad placement is that correct, Mr. Pakai? Uh, you know, About 80%? majority of the business. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and because Google sells behavioral ads, ads targeted to each of us as individuals, the more user data that Google collects, the more money Google can make. More user data means more money. Is that correct? Uh, in in general, that's not true. Uh, for example, when more you come user and start, data, when you type, not the more money Google connect, collects. I'm sorry, please. 
So you're saying that so, the more user data, it does not mean the more money that Google can collect. Congresswoman, most of the data today we collect is to help users uh, and provide personalized experiences back. Ad okay. data Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Pakai. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank the gentleman.